Welcome back to the Peabody Community Garden. Peace, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are here at the Peabody Community Garden. This is sunny South Dallas. Man, uh, I wanted to give y'all an update, you know, on the video that I did before about the uh, uh, Dallas Urban Community Garden. I didn't have the name, but I got the name. It's Peabody Community Garden. Actually, we got some gardeners here today. I'm gonna let them give them. I'm gonna let them give their uh, their two cents on what they did. They got a bed out here. They started planting. They started gardening. One of them has never gardened before. But you know what? He did it now. Yeah. So let me give y'all a, a, a quick uh, a quick uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give y'all a quick. Uh, video of the of the area that I'm gonna let the man talk and I'm gonna let the sister talk stay tuned here we go baby so last time I was here none of this was here this basil wait is that basil no that's peppers those peppers those peppers weren't there uh, these are uh, bell peppers Let me go over here. This pepper plant over here is actually already producing some peppers on it. So, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't think it's focusing. I believe these are cucumbers right here. So let me stand back a little bit. So they haven't grown up on a trellis. That's how I'm gonna do my cucumbers also on a trellis system just like that. Let's see if we got any, ooh. We got some cucumbers already producing right there. Some reason I can't get that to focus. Oh, flew away. I was trying to get a bug on there on the screen so you can see it. Look at these tomato plants, they are doing wonderful. Wow. I was hoping I can catch some that already have the uh, tomatoes blossoming, but I don't see none that have tomatoes blossoming yet. Okay. So over here, we got some navy beans. And one raised bed. I believe this is, this may be, uh, is this cabbage? maybe cabbage I'm not not quite certain see the cabbage or lettuce I believe and here's a squash yellow squash some people call it crook neck squash Ooh, look at that right down in there nice no I did it Okay, let me, let me walk around this way. Let me walk around this way. Woo! That thing, that is pretty! Look at that right there. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> wow. I got some coming, but they haven't started producing yet. Well, we planted some late. I found out, but that's not late for a fall garden. Yes, ma'am. Like everything we put in, it was okay. Like the pepper, mm -hmm. the watermelon, the okra, everything could go in when it did. Yes, ma'am. And it's cool for a fall garden. Okay. 
Now for spring, no. Not for, <laughs> yeah. I think I planted mine. Yeah, mine are late too. Mine are late too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somebody dropped off. You saw those apples that were over here? Uh-uh. For like somebody donated or brought hmm. like crates and crates. The whole fence was lined with these crates of apples in bags. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they just but dropped them off? Was, that's within the front bed. That's why we didn't plant them. We put them in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember that now. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. that's yeah. why we didn't plant it up. up there. Yeah. I don't yes, ma'am. I guess I thought they'd break down. Yes, ma'am. So, right here is a whole bed of watermelon. It's going to be a lot of them. These front two up here, these are actually uh, two people that's just volunteering over here. So right now they're going to be holding a class here tomorrow uh, on how to start, you know, and also they'll be talking about if you want to come reserve your bed, come on, reserve your bed, you know, there'll be no problem. This is at the corner of Edgewood and Peabody, uh, 3100 Edgewood Street and 2300 Peabody Street. That's the address here. So if anybody's watching, come on down, come on, look at it. You know, come on, reserve your spot. They need people, you know, you need this too. Come on down. Mr. Kenna Brew. Mr. Kenna Brew. Mr. Kenna Brew. Yes, sir. If you don't mind, uh -huh. if you don't mind, if you can uh, just, uh, tell the people, you know, you were telling me that, that this is your first time that you were actually right. gardening. You know, now you're seeing, you know, you're seeing the benefits of it. Do you mind just giving just quick, quick little just rundown, yeah. you know, what, what what got you started, why you started, and, and, from, and what it feels like now actually doing it. Sure, sure. And seeing it, seeing it come to life. Well, for me, I was, uh, I was like, uh, trying to determine uh, you know basically how I can you know be the you know learn more about gardening yes sir and uh, you know being that I'm founder unified hands unified hands okay yeah and uh, we uh, working with the community gardens to you know bring them together and show people how to how to grow yes sir their own food yes sir so if I'm gonna be a leader doing something like that then you know, to me, it just seems like it makes yes, a lot of sense to, to do it. To practice, it. practice what Run I preach. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. So, uh, so yes, yeah. Sir. So this is giving me an opportunity. You know, to uh, for me, this is almost like a case study. You know, mm. unified hands to see if, mm. if unified hands could, yeah, could uh, could really support somebody within the organization right here, right now. Yes, sir. And so that's what I set out. And so I rented uh, from from one of our community garden members, mm -hmm. unified, unified hands mm -hmm. at the Moss Garden. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I rented a bed, and so I was working with a couple of our members, Kim and David, okay. as well as uh, Trisha, who does transplanting. Okay. So the whole goal was to plant some seeds, uh, to transplant, and and you know get some fruits and some so, vegetables and some herbs. And so basically, you didn't just come over here and just start. You actually had some help people. You know, they got transplants. You know, they show you how to do this, show you how to do that. So it wasn't all on your own trying to figure this thing out. Absolutely. You had help. Absolutely. You know, okay. our organization, Unified Hands, is about unifying, you know, more than just your own two hands. Yes, sir. Know, but unifying together. So I'm all about working together, finding ways where, right, if I'm going to accomplish something, accomplish yes, sir. it well, it has to be yeah. with, with other people. Yes, sir. So this, this for me, even though this is my garden bed, this is, this is in a way, this is uh, the fruits of our labor. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, personally, put a lot of yes, sweat equity into this. Yes, sir. But, you know, but it has been a, through a lot of guidance, you know, asking yeah. questions and, and getting answers and then yes, applying those answers. Yes, sir. To, yes, sir. To, to, so, but, would you, what would you say uh, to someone who's looking to, you know, uh, who's, who's thinking about it, but who hadn't actually just made the step forward and say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this in my backyard and I'm just going to, or I may just go join a community garden. you have anything to say to someone who's on the edge, kind of, thinking about maybe starting it or, or you know or, yeah. or just mainly just just get started just give it a shot sure sure absolutely you know it, in this day and time you know it, there's you know there's a lot of things that people can put in their minds to be obstacles to 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 the bearing mm. to growing yeah and, 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 that, and that's the, and, that, and that and that's understandable um but it, it's really you know it starts uh, uh with kind of a a soul searching yes know, sir really and, and just seeing the value of doing it so 
if a person doesn't really see the value uh, of it, uh, mm -hmm. it, then they may not go too far with it. Yes, sir. But, uh, but there is great value in it. So let me yes, speak sir. about that so that people can be kind of inspired and motivated. Yes, sir. Because, you know, a lot of times we don't know where our food comes from, you know, mm -hmm. and we're mm -hmm. relying on something that is a bare necessity of life. Yes, sir. You know, to others. Yes, sir. So, you know, we should be more uh, uh, motivated to yes, grow our own food. It should be just like you waking up in the morning and Putting yes, sir. your clothes on, yes, brushing sir. your teeth, and you know, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and making it's a, a living. It's, happy, it's routine. <laughs> you know, it should be routine. Yes, you know, sir. making a living in yes, whatever sir. ways you do. But yes, you got to nourish your body to yeah. fuel the energy so you yeah. have enough energy yeah. to put your brush your yeah. teeth, put your clothes yeah. on, and, yeah. and make a living. Make a living. So you, to yeah. me, this is what what it is. So okay. with, with that being said, it's it's uh, um, uh, you know I think it starts there. Yeah. And then you know. And then anybody has any other questions or, or uh, obstacles, you know, even Unified Hands, we have mm -hmm. a support group mm -hmm. uh, that we are uh, building and working. And, and how can they contact you? Can, you? can you let them know how they can contact sure. you? What Unified Hands is about? Sure, sure. Uh, so, so right now we have. Uh, you can uh, you, you can you you can contact us through our email right now. We're still building up our our online platform and okay. contacts and stuff like that. But. It, uh, but if you're not local, um, you can you, you can contact us through our email. That's uh, Unified Hands okay. uh, Co-op. Mm. That, that's C O O P. So okay. Unified Hands Co-op at gmail.com. Okay. So that'll be uh, you know the way even if you're not local or if you're local. But if you're local and you like to in Dallas mm -hmm. uh, or the Dallas Metroplex or Fort mm -hmm. Worth, uh, the surrounding areas, mm -hmm. then we have meetings. Uh, every other Tuesday okay. um, at the MOK Center. It's 24, okay. 29, no, it's not 24, it's 22. Yeah, uh, I'm not it, sure the address either. It's on Martin Luther King. Uh, Martin Luther King Center. Center. It's the Martin Luther King Center. <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, it's on uh, ML, uh, MOK. Okay. And uh, we meet there uh, from okay. about 7 to uh, 8 30. Okay. So they can come, come okay. uh, to that event. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, thank okay, you. thank you so much, Mr. Darrell. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. All right. So you know, so you guys, you have heard from the, from one of the guys who just started gardening. You know, hadn't been doing this for a long time. Uh, just started, just wanted to come out and see what it was like, and and now he has his own garden bed, and it's that it's that first one right there. It's that one right there. He has that. All that's his: watermelon and squash, uh, yellow squash and um, zucchini and he has a watermelon in the back too you know so one of these beds could be yours you can just come out and, and give it a shot you know so they are you don't have to you don't have to provide any wood you don't have to provide any soil the soil is already here the wood is already here everything is already here that you need you know uh just pay for your little, pay, pay for your little membership fee fee peace pay for your membership fee and you'll be good to go so uh I don't want to make this video too too long, but uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me talk to the co-founder of this this community garden and see if he want to say something. Let me open this door here. Uh oh, is that open? Oh yeah, open this. No, I didn't open. So I got to go to the other side. Hey, all right, we got the infamous, the great brother David right here. You want to say anything to the camera today, man? Yeah. You want to let you want to want to promote the community garden here? We're trying to get some people out here. This is how we water from the creek, natural from God. Wow. He blessed us with a running creek here in Dallas, so we go and get our water. We use a pump to pump it out. Also, this is our pump right here. And it takes about it takes about 15, 20 minutes to pump up a 300 gallon tank. Okay. And this is also what we will be pumping out. We will put this down in here. And we will pump this water out of here into the garden or into containers to store it. And that's how we water our garden over here on Peabody. All right, so now you just, you just heard the brother say, 
they have the water so you guys need to come and get your bed come learn some of this because you're not starting all on your own you got people here that's going to help you that's right brother david that's correct so come on down let me turn this around come on down to peabody farm get your spot they got a few left it's just a growing start another growing season so it's a lot to be grown here you got anything else you want to say brother david or you or that's pretty much it uh i think that's it for right now i just got to get to work and <laughs> before this hot sun come out yes sir and uh, we, that's about it sir all right all right so we're gonna end this this video here uh thank y'all for tuning in if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button share it on facebook share this on twitter share it with your family you know share it with your little um with your little daughter or your little son get their hands in the dirt you know let them feel some of that earth start composting it's not hard come out here and learn that's how i got into it come out here and learn you got an excellent teacher right here and brother david here's any question hey let me tell you this right now if you don't have an answer the next time you see him he gonna have an answer we're gonna put it like that so we'll talk to y'all later peace